The Immortal John Hancock, and today I'm going back and revisiting the Sega Master System. The Sega Master System often gets overlooked for its amazing library. There is so many great games that were released on it, and today I'm taking a look at that library and picking out some games that you need to revisit and play. I hope you enjoy this video. Let's take a look. If you like Mario platform games, look no further than Psycho Fox. Psycho Fox is a cute platformer in which you have a punch and jump mechanic, but it is a lot deeper than that. In this game, you can pick up certain items, and with those items, you then can select different characters with different abilities. Grabbing a Psycho Stick item, you can transform into a hippo, in which the hippo can break walls. He's heavier than the other animals, and so he can't jump as much. The tiger specializes in long jumping and running speed. All the other features of the tiger are standard. It's kind of cool to transform into different animals and play the game. The monkey is the other animal that you can transform into, and I found the jumps in this game to be a little bit challenging, so I did prefer playing with the monkey. Collecting money bags throughout the levels, you can then bet on pathways and you use these pathways to earn additional items that you can use in the game. The boss fights are reminiscent of, I would say, Mario 3. The game consists of seven stages, each divided into three rounds, ending with a boss fight. And so, yes, if you're looking for a great platformer that you may have not even heard of, Psycho Fox is definitely one I recommend. It's, it's often overlooked in the Master System library, but it's still one of the best platformers, and I highly recommend it. Look no further than playing Psycho Fox for your platform needs. I talked about being a huge R-Type fan, and this is actually the first version of the game I ever played, even before the arcade and R-Type on the Sega Master System is a faithful port. Yes, it's scaled back a bit, but I thought they did a great job of making the feel of the arcade into this port. You know, the Master System has some amazing arcade ports, and this is one of the better ones. And so it's just, it's just classic R-Type gameplay from the original. I love going back and playing this. One thing people may not know is that this has enhanced FM sound. The FM sound ability added additional nine mono channels of sound. This was a hardware that was released in Japan, but what's cool is certain US games even have the feature available. If you're playing on a Mega SG or other way, you can finally listen to this amazing FM sound and this is something I didn't grow up with and so uh, with this ability I love this game even more and so this is a great arcade port of the original R-Type and even though it's not perfect I still go back and play this version this was one of the very first games that I rented of the Sega Master System and so it's nice to go back and play this port uh, inferior things and in all I still think it's a good version of the arcade game. If you like classic shooters, then you'll be at home with R-Type. Lots of cool weapons, and so getting good at the game means that you have to be able to maximize the use of droid units, which you can attach to the front and behind of your ship. You know, they can take enemy bullets, not all, but some. And so I really like that feature of the shooter. You know, it's what it's famous for. The boss fights in this game are awesome. They usually fill half the screen. It's a lot of fun to go through and play this game again. I found the graphics to be very colorful. There's a lot of neat different enemies. And like many shooters before and after it, if you lose your power-ups, this game becomes much more challenging. With all the power-ups, and options that this game gives you throughout each stage. It's important to stay alive and have those power-ups as you face enemies and the final boss of each stage. Sometimes picking up the power-ups throughout the stage is nearly the only way to defeat enemies at the end. I had a lot of fun going back and playing this. I hadn't played it in a while and definitely recommend this shooter for the Master System.
Fantasy Star, hands down, is one of the best 8-bit role-playing games ever to be made. It is probably one of the best games on the library. You have a party system, there's shops, there's towns, there's different planets to visit, tons of enemies, tons of weapons, tons of items, huge world to explore. I absolutely love this game and I'm really happy to see it being re-released on the Nintendo Switch Sega Ages style. This is also part of several compilations that Sega has released. It was part of the uh, Sonic Ultimate Genesis collection that was released on many platforms. I have fond memories of playing Fantasy Star back in the day using graph paper to map out the dungeons. I got lost several times, but there's a lot to like about here. Excellent graphics. There is a strategy using the party system, using your different weapons and magic uh, with your party to defeat enemies and knowing their weaknesses and what weapons and magic works against them. And so this is a amazing game and it's not a game that you're just gonna pick up and play. You will spend countless hours exploring dungeons, getting lost in dungeons, fighting difficult enemies, exploring the overworld, going to different planets, getting different items and weapons and magic. There is a lot to enjoy about Fantasy Star. Hands down, in my opinion, probably the best game on the Master System library. If you like role-playing games, look no further than playing Fantasy Star. And it's really sweet to see that it's offered on so many different platforms. Check it out. Unfortunately, in the United States, where the Master System wasn't entirely successful, we didn't get awesome games such as Ninja Gaiden. Now, this Ninja Gaiden is not connected to any other of the Ninja Gaiden series. I didn't know about this game until way later, after I had experienced the Master System for several years. And so once I found out that there was unique Ninja Gaiden made for the Master System, I had to experience it for myself. After purchasing a physical copy, I was blown away by how good this version of Ninja Gaiden is. It has many of the things found in other 2D Ninja Gaiden games, has many of the same power-ups, a few different ones, as well as fast gameplay, and it's challenging. For people that enjoy playing annoying enemies that hit you over and over, yes, they're back. They're in different forms, but they're here. But I really enjoy the appeal of the challenge playing a Ninja Gaiden game. I felt at home here after playing the Nintendo ones several, several years. It was neat to go and experience a unique Ninja Gaiden made for the Master System. And I, I plan on beating this at some point but yes it's it's very challenging it's got the birds it's got other annoying enemies there are probably several people who know how awesome this game is if not look no further than going back and playing ninja gaiden wonder boy 3 the dragon's trap is an action metroid style game and thankfully it is offered in many forms the newest version is the re-release and updated graphics version from Lizard Cube that is playable on multiple platforms. There's a lot to like about this game. There's different weapons, items, and gold that you collect from killing enemies. This was one of the best games offered on the Master System. I got to experience this back in the day and immediately fell in love with this game. You acquire different forms such as Lizard Man, Mouse Man, Piranha Man, Lion Man, and Hawk Man. And the game is pretty awesome. And so it's nice to see that this game is still remembered. And I love the remake of this timeless classic. Also appreciated the length of this game. It wasn't too long, it wasn't too short, it was just right. And I recently went through and beat this game. It was really nice to go back and play this classic Master System game. There are so many awesome games of the Master System Library that could have been chosen for this video. If you didn't see your game, don't worry. I plan on doing more of the series for the Master System. What are your favorite games that you go back and play on the Master System? Comment below as I would love to hear from you. 
gosh, you know, even even admittingly myself, I have overlooked the Master System in the past, and I had a lot of fun going back and playing some of these awesome games. So thank you so much for the ongoing support. Please hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button. This is the Immortal John Hancock, and you take care.